education and professional background have built up your expertise on both the Western and traditional Chinese medicine systems. Um, you've, also, you've also witnessed the changes in how it's perceived in the West. Um, where do you think TCM stands right now in terms of public acceptance as well as official recognition in the U.S.? The public acceptance and official recognition in U.S. for uh, TCM has been, you know, greatly increased, uh, especially after the uh, pandemic. I heard that, uh, especially like from my students, you know, they have, they have a great interest in the TCM and also uh, more people want to uh, you know, get the TCM degree and learn some like acupuncture, even later on become the, uh, the acupuncture practitioners. Uh, from what I know that right now, U.S. has uh, nearly 40,000 acupuncture uh, clinics, uh, you know, practitioners. So the, uh, and, and the more than half of them actually are non-Asian. Like uh, some of my colleagues used to be, you know, have a, a bias or skeptical uh, to the TCM, uh, but now they are, uh, you know, changing their mind and then start to, um, you know, talk to the TCM uh, and want to know more about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You had the chance to give a seminar to the French students in Chengdu. Um, some of them are practitioners for up to eight years, and some are still students who wish to learn more about TCM. Um, what do you think is the fundamental difference between these two systems? And one is, um, we think it's a, a more like a, a reductionism. Uh, you know, the, the, the follow the reductionism from the West. For example, you know, um, uh, the, for the modern medicine or Western medicine, we we'll talk about it. Um, reduction means reductionism means that um, uh, the um, separate the body right into uh, different parts and go deeper and deeper, smaller and smaller. Right? So from the organ right to the uh, tissue and to the uh, cell and the uh, molecule, right? So that's the reductionism. So you get deeper and deeper and more detail. Okay. So that's the um, uh, the one of the key uh, uh, features uh, for the uh, modern medicine. But then TCM, we know that they are more like holistic, right? So they they follow the holism. Uh, so then you look at the body or human body right, as a whole, and then they, they think that all the organ and tissue or system are connected. So then that basically is uh, uh, systemic medicine, okay? Dr. Sun, thank you so much for sharing with us your perspectives. Appreciate your thoughts. All right. Thank you very much.